one day I walk into this place called Herbs of Mexico and a woman is leaving and she said to me, would you please leave your number? I said, why? She said, you save souls, don't you? You see, I don't know what she saw in me, but I didn't feel what she saw. When she said, you save souls, don't you? I know that she was emotionally out of balance because I don't believe there's anyone on this planet could identify the soul. I begin to pay heed. Then these sisters in, New, in, in New Los Angeles, I was a steam engineer. And I'm experimenting with these herbs. I'm going to herbs of Mexico to buy these herbs. And these sisters started coming around. Abby Lincoln, Marla Gibbs, Sharifu, all these sisters, Uta, and Mwalimu. And they were getting these herbs and they were feeling good. And they made me say me. And the day that they named, gave me that name in that ceremony, mm. I knew that with that name came a responsibility. Mm. A responsibility that I was not prepared to carry out. I mean, I, I knew it. So I had to lay back for five years reprogramming myself such as certain words you know, semen, we cuss every, every five words, certain behavior. Then one day, everything cleared up to me. I wanted to do something good. Now remember now, there's books out there like Jethro Claus, Back to Eden. Yeah. There's Alma Hutchins, Indian Herbology of North America. There's Ivan Kerkikov, the Russian. There's Iporito Rodriguez. There's Myers. There's Cut Pepper. But they all made the same recommendations for the same disease. No, yeah, but no one is being cured. Somewhere along the way, the science of biochemistry came into my head. Why? Biochemistry, the chemistry of life. And it is in that science that I spent five years. Then I could see. I could see clear now. I cannot use peppermint. I can't use aloe vera. I can't use enchinacea. Why? They are hybrids. What do you mean by hybrids? Hybrids mean a product that was made by a laboratory. Wow, I can't believe that I run up on this thing. I'm in Washington and I got a call from Dr. David Ayensu. Dr. David Ayensu is a botanist. He's a member of the Smithsonian Institution. Dr. Sebi, I heard that you have done some research in herbs, with herbs, but have you ever considered using the rosy periwinkle as a cure for leukemia? Mm -hmm. I said, Dr. Ayensu, many people have been cured of leukemia without the aid of the periwinkle. Mm -hmm. But as for the periwinkle, it is a plant that was hybrided in Madagascar by the French. 
its molecular structure is incomplete. It's an acid-based substance. Mm. What do you mean? I said, I mean just what I said. The periwinkle is a hybrid plant. He made that mistake because he didn't quite understand the science of biochemistry. And even Hippocrates, the Greek, he said one of the first consideration, never allow your patient to receive from you something that hurts. Ginseng hurts, peppermint hurts, and chinesia hurts, carrots hurts, beets hurts. You don't do that. I used to drink more carrot juice than anybody in the world. I had more mucus than anyone else too. As I begin to put the science of biochemistry in the mix, in the equation, that was when I began to produce these products. Because one of the herbs that I used to like to think was the, was the stuff was concrete. Mm. And because I was a steam engineer, I had the privilege to use the laboratory to break things down for ionization. I learned that. And when I took a pH of concrete, it's 4.8. Oh my God, I said no. Oh no, I'm wrong. What do I mean by 4.8? It means this. In nature, everything is electrical. For it to be electrical, it has to have a pH of more than seven. Seven, as you know, is the neutral point in breaking things down. Hydrogen ion concentration. You call that pH. How we translate this into something sensible, Dr. Sebi? Okay. pH of seven is neutral. 7.1 is alkali. 6.9 is acid. And as you go down the road, as you get smaller in number, the more acid the substance. As you go higher in number, the more alkalinity there is. Seven is neutral, but 7.1, the water here is 9.8, very high in oxygen and alkalinity. So you want to select everything from a pH above seven, but comfrey is 4.5. Oh, I was so disappointed. Then I took burdock. Burdock is nine. So what's the difference there? One is native, one is non-native or made. Okay, I begin to put the compounds together and I begin to hear the result. 